White, the light heavyweight champion of Canada, Gary Summerhays. Summerhays. His opponent in the corner to my right, he's from Turnersville, New Jersey, blue and white trunks, 177, the Jewish bomber, Mike Rossman. Mike Rossman. Tony Perez is your referee, 10 rounds or less. You saw Rossman on our NBC coverage of the Norton bobbing fight as he defeated Mike Quarry. He's regarded as the, one of the best young punchers in the ranks today, and he's looking for a shot at the world light heavyweight champions crown Victor Galendez. You'll see Rossman in the light blue trunks, star David on his trunks, and in the black trunks, Gary Summerhays, as the instructions are now being given by referee Tony Perez. Rossman, 31 3 and 3 draws, 19 knockouts in his 31 wins. He has a devastating right hand, and he can hurt you with the left as well, and is very quick and tough. Summer Hayes has the reputation of never being off his feet. A father of two sons, uh, the Canadian champion, living 60 miles west of Toronto in Brantford, Ontario. He is one pound heavier at 178, is, some, is Summer Hayes. And you'll find that Mike Rothman is a very smart fighter. He doesn't waste too many punches. He's very sure of himself in the ring, and he's very sure of his punching power. Growing up in Philadelphia, makes his home in Turnersville, New Jersey. He's trained with, and managed by his father, Jimmy DiPiano. They asked him what it's like to have your father always watching you from the time you're running to the time you go to bed at night. He said, I'd rather not comment on that. <laughs> with only 10 knockouts in his 28 wins, does not have the reputation of the one big punch where Rossman can put you away with uh, one good blow. That's very true. As we stated before, he can do it with either hand. You notice during this fight, he's very, very deliberate about everything he does. He thinks well, he moves well. The only thing he has to know how to do a little better is cut off the ring. All right, Rick, don't push. Step back, please. Back to Tony Perez, the third man in the ring. more ring savvy from him. Although Rossman has more fights in the book. I think Rossman has been also run uh, the higher echelons of fighter longer. He's been watching people fight. He's watched Joe Frazier train. He's watched Ali train. He's a very ring-wise individual, although he's very young. go 10 rounds or it's scheduled for 10. How much will they use this first round just to feel each other out? Or if he sees the opening, Rossman or Summer Hayes, will they go for it all, the bundle in the first round? I'm sure that if either fighter sees an opening, he will definitely go for it. I'm also very sure that Rossman will not waste his punches. He will pick his shots, as I stated before, and will make sure that the guy can get hit before he uses his power. You see the strength of Rossman. As Summer Hayes could not tie him up inside, and Rossman still landed to the body with both a left and a right. is can Summer Hayes hold his record of never being off his feet as Rossman tends to start his opponents. Final seconds, round one. When Teleprompter, the nation's largest cable television company, demonstrates their reception, they obviously want their picture to look as good as it possibly can. Out of all the television sets in the country, guess which one they use exclusively? That's right. It's a Sony. With an ordinary credit card, we're going to prove that Edge lets you shave closer than foams. First, listen to an unshaven face. Now we'll shave the left side with foam, the right with edge. Edge lubricates as it lathers so we can press harder to shave closer than foam.
Now listen to the foam side. Then listen to the edge side. Foam, edge. Edge lets you shave closer than foams. Lady judge, Eva Shane. She's worked as a judge for nine years, five years as professional, an unprecedented night. The ladies and cheer the fact that they'll have the first judge to ever rule in a heavyweight championship fight. You saw the scoring in the first round. Try to get in, score his punches, and get out without getting tagged. He's done it. He has to throw the short flurries, get out, ready to throw the flurries, and tie the man up. Summer Hayes in the dark trunks. He's moved well on his feet in other sports, but one of them required skates. He was an outstanding hockey player, a centerman up in his native Ontario. Rossman, he says that he gets a chance he likes to go bowling. He said he scored a 260 was his high. That's not bad. It's darn good. There's some bowling pros that don't bowl 260. Right hand didn't do much damage by Summer Hayes. Well, the current overhand right was placed 12, as you saw, it had no power. So I think that from that, Rossman can sense that he has no uh, problem there getting hurt. Uh, here's your two hands inside. Okay, great. One minute left in round two. Rossman winning the first round. Those were the official votes of the three men, well, two men and a woman. Working the fight tonight, referee Tony Perez, Tony Castellana, and Eva Shane, the two judges. This punch was the left hand, the left hook to the body. Those smart. You notice how deliberate Rossman is. He, he doesn't waste anything. Not a step, not a punch, not a movement. Oh, he has the eyes of a killer, too. Menacing. There again, the right hand scoring for Summer Hayes. Okay, all right. I wouldn't call them the eyes of a killer. I'd say the eyes of a competitor. That's right. Very good competitor. that Summer Hayes has been able to land is that looping right, and that's the end of round two. Simplest camera ever invented. Polaroid's new one step. You don't have to focus or anything here. I'm not very good at this. It's just one step. Point it and press the button. That's two steps. We don't count the pointing. The motor hands you the picture. The SX-70 color develops in minutes. And it's only $39.95. It's beautiful, but I still think pointing's a step. Well, it isn't. Well, it should be. We don't count it. You should. Every day, you lose a little piece of yourself. More hair on the brush and less on you. This is Protein 29 Conditioning Hair Groom. It can't do anything about the hair you're losing. But Protein 29 can do something about the hair you still have. Protein 29 actually adds protein to individual hair shafts. It helps your hair look thicker, fuller, healthier, more like it used to look. The more hair you're losing, the more you need Protein 29 Conditioning Hair Groom. It takes care of the hair that's still there. Those are the votes that count. The referee saw it for Summer Hayes and the two judges for Rossman in round two. Mike Rossman, the light blue trunks. Canadian champion Gary Summer Hayes and the black trunks. I think if you notice in the last round, as Summer, uh, Summer Hayes was coming overhand with the overhand right, Rossman tried an upset at that time. I think he's trying to counter the overhand right. We've never got to follow the hook or the button. Uh, I'm sure he'll nullify that overhand right. But he might have another strike here with 260. And again, whenever he goes downstairs, Rossman seems to be 
causing some damage. You can see somebody's really protecting himself whenever Rust goes to the body. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Muhammad Ali and Ernie Shavers for the heavyweight championship of the world. The final of this one. Near sellout crowd at Madison Square Garden in New York. Definitely starting to tell. Spacing them well needs a lot of power in each shot. Now you can see some of the red welts growing on the rib cage of Gary Summerhays. Come on, Mike. Ooh, that left hand staggering Summerhays, and he stays on his feet. The right hand hurts. Summerhays has never been down, but he came mighty close there. That was a very awesome situation. He actually bumped in. Summerhay was going to apologize for it, and Rothman was going to write in. And uh, referee says to take yourself at all times, so I guess that's a very true point. It's all right to be courteous, but wait till the bell sounds after the round before you do any apologizing. Oh, good left hand by Summerhay, so he's able to rally himself in a hurry from that wobbly right. condition and right. deliver a good blow. <laughs> Some of the perspiration <laughs> fell on Ken Norton at ringside. Listen, you ought to be used to that. What are you wiping it off for? I tell you, Dick, normally I'm going to have the perspiration. It's, not, it's my own perspiration. <laughs> That's not too bad. <laughs> Summer Hayes and Treble here in the middle of round three, but has rallied, and we're down to the final seconds. Break. Round four coming up. When do you say Budweiser? After we find one more mile an hour. When do you say Budweiser? Right now, or any time that's right for a cold beer is perfect for the smooth taste of the king of beers, Budweiser. When you say Madison Square Garden in New York. Here down in the cubicles here at the garden is the challenger, Ernie Shavers. Appears to be calm and collected. What do you think he's feeling right now? Well, I don't know. I think right now he's just trying to keep himself together, trying to keep himself down, and trying to just think about getting his hands wrapped right, because if your hands aren't correctly wrapped, it can cause a lot of problems. And I think the man is definitely trying to compose himself now for the job he has ahead. A heavy underdog is Ernie Shavers, but he also has one of the most devastating right hands in the business. There's how they scored the last round. Rossman winning two votes of three. Come on, come on. Come on. We're in round four. And it's surprising that Rossman could have hurt some ways as he did. Again, it shows how they score here in New York. They count for the aggression of the fighter. The summer is, even though he took perhaps the toughest lick of the fight thus far, was able to rally enough to at least convince one judge that he won the round. Very unusual, but then again, judging is very, it's kind of hairy. It's, it's, you know, we were watching from one point, they're watching from another point. How well you know. <laughs> Too hot, that's it. That's on. That's it. So far, Gary Summerhays has thrown some very good shots. Very good right hands. Very good uh, right uppercuts. He's also threw some good hooks. He just threw a good hook there. Now dropped his head through the left hand. You like to do that, don't you? With the right hand. Very true. It's been very effective for me. And I've been very fortunate with him. Summerhays, the Canadian champion, ranks sixth in the British Commonwealth rankings in the dark trunks. Mike Rossman, Ring Magazine, has him rated seventh in the world as a light heavyweight, although he's two pounds over the limit tonight at 177. Oh, a good left hand by Rossman. It was a very good left hand. It only proved the summer haze to take a very good shot. Right. 
Sometimes it's an asset, and sometimes it's very detrimental. One minute remaining in round four. Those body shots are definitely hurting somewhere. Starting the wind starting to make faces. You can hear not only the blows landing, but the reaction from Summerhays, who now shows a mouse or a cut under the left eye. That's bothering Summerhays. You can see him pawing with his left hand, and Rossman, well, his opponent concentrating on that cutter mouse, was able to deliver a good blow. A mouse at the moment, and that right hand landed right on it. All right, thank you. Thank you. Definitely a mouth but is at the point of bursting. And a light trickle of blood from what is an opening cut under the left eye of Summer Hayes here in the closing seconds of round four. Scheduled for ten. Five! Five on the 50 yard line! Hey, Charlie, with Cole last night, you put in a Preston then a freeze? Presto, Presto. Who needs Presto? <laughs> Presto, Presto, you need Presto. If your antifreeze is worn out or you don't have enough, you could be in trouble. So put in a fresh fill of Presto, too, to prevent corrosion and freeze-ups. Presto, Presto, we need Presto. Presto, Presto, you need Presto. You're looking at Angelo Dundee wrapping the champion's hands. Mohammed, at the training camp, you said this is about the time you start to feel those butterflies and anxiety. Are um, you starting to feel them? A little bit, but I'm... Changing my mind. I might not dance tonight. I might not rope a dope. I might do something totally different. Just tell everybody, get your televisions, use your restroom, and be there, and get the phone off the hook. And they do not be disturbed because you will see something great tonight. They say, I'm old, they say, I'm finished. Watch with your own eyes. You sell something. Okay, Try right back to ringside. Don't leave. <laughs> Round five Mike Rossman in the light trunks, Gary Summerhays from Canada in the black and white trunks. I think at the present time now, Mike's going to start coming up with the right uppercut more. Because Summer Hayes starting to go down. Then it's a very good overhead right. Oh, a vicious left hand by Summer Hayes. That hurt Rossman. Rossman is hanging on for the first time. Summer Hayes landing heavily. And Gary Summer Hayes may be fighting out of desperation with that. Wound under the left eye, Ken Norton. That's very true. And at the present time, Mike is gonna hurt. Summer has to be trying to pick his punches, throw the good shots, and not waste them. He'll only throw himself out. And it's almost a guarantee that Rossman will recover. Totaling the cards of all three officials going into round five, they all have it 3-1 Rossman. Scoring and it appears the looping rights and lefts are the best weapon right. Summer Hayes has. Now, why should those be landing and not the other punches? Not only because of the fact he's dropping it, he's throwing it from a point where uh, Rothman can't see it. He's coming over the top. Rothman is not watching over for the overhead shot. He's more or less using the straight punches. He's definitely giving a problem. But I think that overhead right's a very good shot. I know you do. <laughs> All right, bring it up.
fights sometimes, aren't they? The first five and the final five. Very true. I feel that Mike Walker's going to come on more in the second half. He's been a late starter. Uh, I feel that Summer he is going to have to do something. Looks good. All right. Great. And that's the halfway mark. Now save up to $10 on Kodak Instant Cameras and Film. You can get $5 when you buy any Kodak Instant Camera. And another $5 when you buy five packs of Kodak Instant Print Film. And only one Instant Film gives you this. Bright, brilliant color by Kodak. You'll love being part of the picture. So save $10 on Kodak Instant Cameras and Film where you see this display. Ask your photo dealer for details of this special limited time offer from Kodak. Hey, the holiday. All right, oh, You're about to be welcomed to one of the best hotels in the world. The hotels with the best locations. Near the things you want to be near. The hotels with the best system of standards for comfort and taking care of you. The hotels that take care of more travelers than anybody else. Holiday Inn welcomes you to some of the best hotels in the world. Obviously, Summer Hayes' best round was number five. This is round six. Harry Summer Hayes in the black trunks and Mike Rossman, the Jewish bomber from Philadelphia in the light blue. That's a throwback to the old days when every fighter had some nickname, usually with a, an ethnic basis, and lost the feeling of the good nickname. Maybe I'm a Baptist, I'm a Baptist fighter. <laughs> You want to be called, and that's Jim. <laughs> it's very true. I think this is the point in the fight where Mike Crossman has to exert the pressure. He has to come out, he has to take the play away. He has to uh, use his punching power. He has more strength, he has more power, and now he has to exercise. On the other hand, this is a place where Summer Hayes has to pull the combination, hold on, move back outside, move in, grab him again, and just kind of trying to keep him bewildered. Summer Hayes reaction was not from a blow, but he lost his balance and was pushed into the ropes. You can see the mouse under the eye of Summer Hayes when we get in tight. It is not reopened. There was a slight trickle of blood in the fourth round when it first showed its ugly appearance, but Corner's done a good job keeping the swelling down. And Summer Hayes did a good job of protecting the eye. This is the point also where Rossman should be throwing more dread, more jabs. Trying to hit the bad eye. So, move hand right, so more straight right hands trying to connect on the eye. Trying to get the man's trouble. That's an interesting point. We've not seen many jabs by either fighter in the last three rounds. It's very unusual because Mike has a very good jab. I have never seen Summer Hayes fight. I think he's more of a swarmer than a jabber. He must have heard you. He's gone to the jab now more consistently. Good move. Come on, come on. Final minute of round six. It's scheduled for ten. The World Heavyweight Championship. Muhammad Ali and Ernie Shavers to follow. And some very interesting biographical sketches on each. All right, break it up. Break it up. Come on, Johnny. Come on. Come on, Johnny. Remember, Summer Hayes has got her uh, warning for holding too much. All right, come on. Come on, Johnny. <laughs> Summer Hayes being warned about holding too much and some of the fans up in the gallery including and whistling wanting more action here in round six. But the fans aren't getting hit. <laughs> That's right. That old Max Caroline will offer that the next round as Summer Hayes opens up at the end of round six. Hey, look at that. It's a chainsaw with its case. Uh-oh, somebody left it. Probably taking a coffee break. It's a McCulloch Mac 140. Wow. It's got automatic oiling. That's slick. This is the chain brake safety feature. Yeah, yeah. It stops the chain in less than a tenth of a second. That's fair. And look at these teeth. They sharpen themselves with a press of a button. Mine don't. The McCulloch Mac 140. You can't buy another chainsaw with all these features at any price. That McCulloch's got just about everything. Yeah, but I bet it can't swim. Good point. McCulloch. In the yellow pages, under saws. When do you say, but wiser? I'm saying with every stroke of my brush. 
Right now, or any time that's right for a cold beer is perfect for the smooth taste of the king of beers, Budweiser. When you say Budweiser, now that's a masterpiece. You said it all. Rossman wins round six in all three cards. Here's what they told Mike Rossman between rounds. Make him leave the counter for you. Don't go to him this round, all right? You know what I'm Don't go to him. Make him come to you. Back off. Well, then, let him come to you. Make him come to you. Make him come to you. Now, what's the counterpunch? Now, the word counterpunch, that's uh, Slim Robinson in the corner of Mike Rossman. Those are very interesting comments right. because of the fact right. that right. Summer Hayes is charging the man. If he can step back, come up with the right uppercut, the left uppercut, the hooks, and uh, counterpunch, as the man said, it would definitely be advantageous for him. But then again, the guy isn't so charging that much. He's charging at times. He's picking the right spot. He's kind of confusing uh, right. Ross Rick. Rossman leads on all three cards. Four rounds to two. One other thing the man said about this. Oh, oh, very good shot. They both landed well in that exchange. Go, Go ahead, Ken. I was going to say that his corner told him not to leave, not to force the action. And he's doing just the opposite. Do you think part of that instruction might have been knowing that Rossman's ahead to pace himself in this one round with three more to go? Not really. Rossman's a better a counter puncher than he is an aggressive puncher. He comes to the man, he counters good with the right uppercut, he counters good with the hook. And uh, this is where he gets his power from. Stepping back, coming up with one good punch. And also, if they can get the man to come in more, he can, he can uh, wear the man down, make the other man force the pressure, throw the bigger punches, and he's going to wear himself out. This will definitely be uh, Rothman's advantage. Neither man has ever been off his feet in his professional boxing career. Mike Rossman and Gary Summerhays. And we're one minute away from the end of round seven. Bring it up. Come on. That line of Max Bear was after a particularly punishing round. Bear came back to the stool, and his manager trainer said, Nobody hurt you. You're okay. Nobody hit you. Nobody hurt you. And he said, Max, well, then you, right. better, you better watch that referee because somebody's sort of handing out a lot of punishment. <laughs> Come on, Mike. Give that. Give that. Give that. Give that. You notice Summer Hayes is fighting a very intelligent fight now. He's throwing his punches, and then he's grabbing. He's, you know, he's holding on. That, on. that doesn't give Rossman the chance to counter punch. Right. But that also doesn't win points on the cards of the officials, does it, if you're holding on? Not really a point, but then again, it saves you. I'm sure he knows what he's doing. Tony Perez, the third man in the ring. The end of round seven. A reminder, friends, the Los Angeles Dodgers winner of the National League West hosts the National League Eastern champion Philadelphia Phils. NBC Sports coverage, baseball's league championship series, gets underway Tuesday night, October 4th, next Tuesday night, 8 o'clock Eastern time from Dodger Stadium. American League play begins the next afternoon, Wednesday, October 5th. Kansas City playing probably the New York Yankees. They could clinch it tonight. That starts at 3 Eastern time. Best three of five. You can see it all on NBC. Now to Larry Merchant and Ernie Shaver's locker room. Ernie, Muhammad Ali said a while ago that he just might not lay on the ropes or dance around, which suggests that maybe he'll run across the ring to try you out. What are your thoughts about that? Well, I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe he would, because he's not, probably not in the best condition of his life. He might try to come out and fight with me uh, first two or three rounds. Has anybody ever fought with you like that before? Yeah, Jimmy Ellis. What happened? He got knocked out. Thank you very much, Ernie Shavers. And now back to ringside. A confident... Reaction from challenger Ernie Shavers. One vote uh, from Castellano, the judge, called that last round even. Rossman continues to pile up rounds on the other two cars, and he is very much in the lead now as we go to round eight. It would seem that it's cornered going to be more aggressive to take the player away. Summerhays cannot hurt him with any punch, but he should be aggressive. He's going to use his power. At the moment, 
Rossman leads 5-2 on two cards and 4-2, one even on the other, and he's trying to push Summer Hayes away. Earlier in the fight, Rossman got hurt because he relaxed too much. Since then, he's been on his toes. He's been smart. He's been trying to think. That right hand slipped in, but Rossman absorbed it well. Those elbows low enough to protect your rib cage and yet not too low so that your hands aren't protecting your chin. That's very true. I think the, the arm is the most step important part of protecting your body. Besides rolling with the punches, you have to be able to catch them with the elbows. And a good body punch can hurt you more than a good head shot. Come on, And yet there are so few good body punches today. Everyone likes to go to the head. It's the new breed. <laughs> I like the home run instead of going for the 350 average. Approaching the one-minute mark remaining in round eight. The Garden in New York. Crowd estimated at over 17,000. And they're awaiting the 19th defense of his heavyweight championship by Muhammad Ali. Joe Lewis holds a record, 25 successful defenses. That was a very good exchange by both fighters there. All right, come on. Break it up. Don't punch it. I kind of think that Muhammad Ali is a trend for the head hunting. He's a very good head hunter. He's got a good quick hand. He's smart. And most of the fighters today are trying to emulate Ali. That's totally understandable. Half minute remaining in round eight. Push away. It's uh, tired Gary Summerhays here in round eight as Mike Rossman has taken command of this fight in the late round. And Summerhays is going to have to muster a big combination someplace. Muhammad Ali is also involved in sponsoring some exciting amateur programs which could have bearing on United States hopes in the 1980 Olympics. Here's Joe Garagiola. NBC Sports has recently completed a long-term agreement to televise events from the Muhammad Ali Track Club and the Muhammad Ali Boxing Club. To my right, the track coach, Ray Norton. First, Ray, these youngsters, are all amateurs or is it professional? No, Joe, they're all amateurs, and as you know, we're developing them for hopefully for the 1980 Olympic Games in Los Angeles. For the Olympics, you got some Houston McTeers. Oh, we got some great ones. Houston McTeer, Johnny Jones, and go on and on. Good. How about boxing, Jimmy Ellis? You got some... Same Olympic way. We have Parcel Davis, Tony Tubbs, and we get the amateur athletes ready for the next Olympics. The Russians, the Germans, uh, the Cubans have did this, and this is what we're looking to do. You're looking to do it. Well, good luck to you, Jimmy Ellis. Good luck to you, Ray Norton, and the Muhammad Ali Boxing and a Muhammad Ali Track Club. And we go to round nine. Mike Rossman and Gary Summerhays, light heavyweights. And Rossman with the lead. Let's see how they scored it in round eight. Rossman piling up the points. And now Summerhays in a position where he almost has to muster a knockout blow in order to win the fight. Mike Rossman needs a knockout win in this fight in order to boost his ego. The upcoming fighter he has, possibly the champion of the world. Rossman would like to earn a shot at the light heavyweight championship, owned by Victor Galendez, and then grow into a heavyweight. He feels he can carry 190 pounds. Rossman is silver, I think, in order to be a heavyweight, he has to grow a couple of inches and uh, more have more than 190 pounds to his favor. And yet he's going to have trouble staying at 175. He's over that tonight, 177. Very good right hand. Left with the jab, follow with the right hand. Oh, you know, you better heavyweights win around 210, 220. And uh, 190 won't be much against a guy who weighs 225 pounds. What do you weigh right now? Present time, I weigh about 225, but I'm going down. <laughs> That's what Bill Slayton said. You, uh, Bill's the boss. Halfway through round nine. No knockdowns. Summerhays had one big round, round five, when he staggered Rossman. 
after Rossman in the light blue trunks and Neil Summerhays with a good left hand in round three. And it's just been a steady attack from Rossman as he piles up points in both the left and the right hand. Good left hand. And the mouthpiece has been lost by one of the fighters. I believe that left hand might have knocked it out of Rossman's mouth. No one has seen it as yet. Tony Perez now will pick it up. Perez looking at both fighters and saying, which one have you lost? It? Actually, that is not only a protective device, but in essence, it helps absorb some blow. And the blow, and you don't want to lose that, do you? That's not true. It helps you in a sense that keeps your teeth from cutting your lips. It also saves your teeth. I, I get it. I'm off his mouthpiece when I see his corner you know, adjusting the referee threw it open. Oh, a good left hand by Summerhead, and he follows it with a good left. 19 seconds left in the round. And it's Rossman for one of the few times tonight hanging on. the greatest the adventures of muhammad ali tonight's his fight and it's man to man but saturday morning a kid's on the run one minute i saw him next minute whoosh, go i bet he was raised by wolf ali wants to help but can it be done he was right here you got to be a fox to lose muhammad ali i am the greatest the adventures of muhammad ali saturday morning at 10 30 9 30 central and pacific on nbc they used to call him the Black Destroyer, Ernie Shavers, early in his career when he was owned partly by Dean Chance against a man from Louisville. I shall destroy. Yeah, I shall destroy. <laughs> That's his cry. You've heard that, haven't you, Ken? Yeah, it's, it's kind of a, an old thing now. I, right now, I think the Shavers is feeling very confident. He feels that Ali has really trained up to his potential, and he feels that he's uh, definitely the heavier puncher. He's going to try to take advantage of it. It's Shavers who has the destroying punches. He's knocked out. 52 of the men of the 54 he's beaten. Only two have lasted, although he himself has been knocked out five times. Final round, Summer Hayes scoring well in round nine, but he still is behind on all three cards as we enter round 10. This series is a big man, isn't he? 18 inch arms. The long. That's round pushing. Why let this one push it out? Good move. Gary Summerhays, the Canadian champion, and the dark trunks, Mike Rossman, young 22-year-old light heavyweight aspirant from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. This round was used in a better shape. We'll see if uh, Summerhays can muster an attack and try to throw overhand right. There's one overhand right right there. We'll try to see if uh, Rossman can counter the, uh, the overhand right and press the action. Tony Perez has it 6-3. One judge has it 6-3. The other has it 5-3-1. So Summer Hayes has to go for the knockout, although he doesn't know what we know. And that's the official card. Oh, 1.45 left. with those left and rights to the jaw. If he had more zip in those punches, Mr. Rossman might be in trouble. He's very odd in the sense that he drops down on each punch. The overhand right, he's dropping hey. and throwing it. He's also dropping and having... Oh, he's also dropping and he's throwing it like an overhand hook. And Rossman at the present time is supposed to fight Galindo. And, and he is a very experienced tough hitter. Is he ready for Galindo's yet? I, to this fight, he doesn't look like it. But then again, you can't really say because he might go to camp, will get himself together, he can watch these fight films, see his mistakes, and improve them. But he will definitely have to improve in order to fight Galindo. We're in the final minute. Summer Hayes again scoring with that overhand right. And it's Rossman who takes a peek at the clock. 50 seconds showing. Hey, 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 hey. I think that Summer Hayes got a surprise Rossman this round. Come on, stop it, Rick. Stop it. Well, he came back in round nine and hurt Rossman. And he's been the aggressor here in the final round. Oh, and a good left hand. Rossman again looking at the clock. A final half minute. 
you see some race is doing the correct thing. He's throwing the punches, the big punch. He's throwing one or two punches, and he's grabbing and holding. Not giving Rossman the chance to counter. Rossman goes to his corner. Gary Summerhays, good-looking young fighter from Canada, and he certainly has not embarrassed himself nor his Canadian championship. He gave Rossman a good go. Obviously, Mike Rossman is going to be the winner on a decision. And Rossman, in turn, may have learned a few things, and that's part of growing up in this game, too. That's right. He's learned how to throw. He, he has to throw more punches. He has to uh, throw more counter punches. He has to force the action at times. He has to lay back at times. He also learned that he cannot take an individual for granted. I think that he kind of thought that uh, he would knock Summer Hayes out early in the fight and then go on and rest a while. But as you saw, Summer Hayes, was, he was a very smart fighter. He started clinging at the right times, tying up at the right times. He got some very good shots in. And then later on in the fight, when he was tiring, he also knew that Ros Rossman was tiring. He went in through the big shots and then grabbed him so that Rossman could not counter. That has to be a great relief when they finally cut those gloves off you, isn't it? That it is, especially when you've had a hard, grueling fight. Standing by, Muhammad Ali, the heavyweight champion, Ernie Shavers, and a biography on both combatants. And now, the official announcement from Jack Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner, Mike Rossman. Rossman. Some of the fans disagree, as Gary Summerhays certainly won some support here at Madison Square Garden tonight. Mike Rossman has defeated Gary Summerhays in a 10-round decision.